Hey guys, what's up? We're here for some more Saints Row the Third, and this is caught no the gangbang. My personal opinion is that she's a useless whore. Professionally, however, she could have valuable information if she can be trusted. That's a real question, isn't it? Well, that's good timing. Hold on, Oleg. I'd like to meet if you'd be willing. Not fucking likely. I helped you hurt the Morning Star. Didn't that prove to you I'm a woman of my word? People can go a long way to be assholes. I'm tired of fighting against the saints. Meet me, and maybe you'll realize that. Come on, Oleg. Time to find some answers. I kind of feel like Viola's story wasn't really completed in this game, uh, which I think is why I was a little disappointed she didn't show up in Saints Row 4, because, like, she defects to the Saints, and other than a couple lines of dialogue here and there, if you call her and, like, um, Shandi as homies or something, you know, you get a couple lines of dialogue, or Viola and Oleg, there's a couple lines that they have back and forth, but, like, I don't know, I kind of was hoping to see, like, more of a reactionary aspect to the story as far as, like, the other people within the gang dealing with Viola's presence, and it's not really too elaborated on, and I, I know Saints Row isn't always necessarily heavy on story, especially this one, because it's kind of out there at times, but I mean, <clears throat> really outside of this appearance here, and then, uh, the zombie mission and then you know her being in the end of the game there's not nothing really that goes on that uh, really addresses her presence within the Saints and uh, I think that might have been a missed opportunity actually in all in all truthfulness I think the way Saints Row 4 was handled and I do like Saints Row 4 for what it is but uh, I think that uh, the way that game was handled um, they kind of dropped the ball on a lot of opportunities that they could have had story-wise. Um, but, you know, that's just my opinion. I didn't realize you were a patron of the arts, Viola. We never really had the chance to chat. What, with you being a science experiment? I wouldn't piss off Ooh. a big guy. Look, I'm not here to fight. We need to work together. Right. Johnny's dead because of you. Johnny's dead because he thought he could do everything on his own. So what's in it for you? I get to watch Kilbane suffer. Can you play nice? As I'm always, gentlemen. Nothing good. Let's go. And arguably, Stag kills more innocent civilians than the Saints do. Well, at least in cutscenes. cover with one of the De Winter sisters. We're about to move in. Roger that. Contact me once you secure the area. Yes, Commander. Um, and going into Saints Row 4, too, or talking about Saints Row 4, uh, something that Who were those guys? kind of, of some sort. I, I don't know why, but now it bugs me uh, replaying this game. If Zinyak, spoilers, if Zinyak, um, took Johnny off of the airplane because he thought he was afraid of Johnny um, single-handedly being able to thwart his plans. Why is Viola, in, or even immediately after that mission on the plane, um, when the DeWinters and Philippe are standing around and addressing 
uh, Matt and Kilbane. No one noticed the alien come and take Johnny off of the plane, you know? Like I said, I don't I don't know why all of a sudden that uh, that's bugging me, but it is, and I don't I'm not sure why. <clears throat> I still think maybe they should just retcon four into being like an alternate story or um, like a uh, I don't know a dream or this isn't any better. some kind of something other than what kind of jets are those? a comic book I don't know anything just to continue where they left off with this instead of jumping right to the the boss being the president they're dropping soldiers off up here Uh, obviously, they're sticking with that world a little bit longer since Get Out of Hell takes place in the uh, Steelport simulation, but I just kind of, I don't know, I feel like there's more to the story to be told, and I'm not saying it has to be serious or grounded in reality, um, like GTA or anything, I mean, that's arguable about how grounded in reality it is. But, um, I just think there's a lot of story that could have been told between what happened in this game and what happened in Saints Row 4. Getting one of those might be one of the best things in this game. Any ideas with that one Viola? You tell me! They seem to be after you! A running theme in this city. Really, as long as they bring back Robin Atkin Downs and Laura Bailey. I'm here. I'm here. I could probably accept wherever they decide to go with Saints Row 5. Some big bald Russian dude in a fucking sport coat jumped on a fucking jet that I was piloting. I would probably need new pants. That shit ain't gonna end well. <clears throat> the crib's gonna be safest. You sure you can get us there? I'm sure I can try. Like, I feel like there should have been more of a cutscene, especially after this mission, when you show up at the crib, like, I don't know, like Shondi and Pierce flipping the fuck out. That one cop sounded like Matt Miller. The syndicate doesn't have the pull to organize something on this scale. I don't think they're just targeting us. Then who called them in? Worry about that later. Right now, I'm a bit busy. That shit's annoying. That motherfucker... just rails on your vehicle with that stupid laser beam. Anyone other than us? Put 
We're almost to the crib. Stay low until we get there. <laughs> and we're there. My name is Cyrus Temple, commander of the Special Tactical Anti-Gang Unit. I'm here to answer your questions about the STAG initiative. Yeah, so how long, excuse me, sir, one question, please. How long will STAG be occupying Steelport? There is no occupation. We have the full support of Mayor Reynolds. How will STAG impact our daily lives? When we win the war on urban terror, you and your families will be safe again. Sir, that's not what I asked. Let me tell you about Jessica Parrish, a girl from Stillwater who ran away from home to be with her tough guy boyfriend. Jessica, a little reference to until a gangbanger the Marrow storyline in trunk of a car and laughed as her there. boyfriend crushed her in a monster truck rally. If Jessica Parrish was your daughter, how far would you want me to go? All right, we're gonna wrap this one up here after this cutscene. And like always, I want to thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Alright? Have a good one, guys.